Hi everyone, welcome to Mamta's Kitchen. So uh, I'm not making some videos for a long time, sorry about that. So, but today we're gonna make a courgette kopta and we're not gonna fry this kopta, we're gonna make an oven. So let's start with it. Making kopta, we're gonna need some onion. So I took two onion, one is chopped, one roughly chopped. So three roughly chopped tomatoes, half chili and some coriander. And we're gonna need some uh, coriander powder and some cumin powder, some garam masala, and some haldi turmeric. And of course for kopta we're gonna need basin. So we're gonna use some of the basin. And I'm using three kojet. Um, as my one is my one is organic one, I'm gonna use them uh, just with the skin. If you're not sure they are no organic, please take off the, the skin. And I'm gonna use some chia seeds and some chili, red chili, and uh, some uh, pumpkin seeds. So let's start with it. So first thing I'm gonna do is take my blender, put my oil tomatoes in it, and some of my onion, chili, and I'm gonna add some ginger. So I'm using a little bit too close. Take it out. red chili powder you can add according to your taste some haldi powder some dhania powder of course you can have some strawberry jam and we're gonna add some uh, garam masala and we're gonna add chia seeds it's up to you how much you like i like two spoon is add really good protein to the uh, lunch and some pumpkin seeds they give really good crunch you can add some peanuts also it's totally up to you now we're gonna add our basin remember we already got salt in our courgette so just taste it as much you adding so i'm just taking four to five spoons of basin and i'm gonna add a little bit salt because i'm not sure how much we already added now we're gonna give just good mix to this
please remember to preheat your oven i'm preheating 10 to 12 minutes i'm just gonna mix it properly i added two one more or two more spoon of the more uh, of basin and i'm adding some amchur because it's really tasty and give you really nice flavor okay this is all ready now we're just gonna make small small balls like this you can make it bigger you can make it small totally up to you i'm just gonna put them in a baking tray so i'm taking a baking tray and i start making some of these some more if you want to make an air fryer please feel free to make it because i'm sure they will cook more faster than it's gonna cook in the oven so like this we're gonna make more okay so i have done all of my ball i'm just gonna add them in the preheated oven i'm just gonna do for like timing i'm trying to put for 25 minutes and then after that just keep checking if you need to cook, cook more you can cook it but just in case if you forgot about them so it's all ready to cook okay so i took a pan and i added two spoon of the ghee small spoons you can add oil anything you have i'm gonna add some jeera just gonna wait for it to get it a little bit of brown so my jeera is done and i'm just gonna add a little bit of uh, and if you remember we're gonna just add our puree just gonna give it a good mix to our puree just gonna add all the masalas honey powder garam masala Some of turmeric. We're gonna add some of jeera powder and have we add chili? If not, we're gonna add some more chili. And just give it a good mix. So our balls are still cooking in the oven. While they are cooking, we can make our gravy. So my masala is almost cooked now. Now I'm going to add the leftover water from our vegetable and give it a good mix and also going to add some more water. We're going to need quite low water because the cope they're going to soak in it. So I'm just going to simmer it for like five. So our curry is uh, simmering. I'm just going to add some salt. You can add according to the uh, your taste remember in the water also there was tiny bit of salt so just be my kopta is done it actually took 25 minutes only but it's depend upon your uh, oven also you can always fry but i like the healthy version don't want too much oil and i'm just gonna put them and i'm just gonna cover tiny bit not too much or you don't cover it's up to you our kopta is done. I'm just gonna add some dried methi, kasturi methi, and some coriander. So it's all ready to go now. Our kopta is ready to serve. So our kopta is ready to serve. You can have with rice or you can have with roti. It's up to you. Please like and subscribe my channel. Please, please. Thank you so much. Bye bye.